You are live. Bing. Happy Oyster. How are you? Welcome to the Happy Oyster Show. Uh, my, I am your host, Barb Burke. We got Skipper T behind the camera. We got Freddy. Fast Captain Freddy, the angry Bayman, is here in the house. <laughs> there he is. He's smiling today. Yeah, free tea so I can afford to go get a Dunkin' Donut. Free. Yeah. You oh, your 7 Eleven card. That's so sweet. It's so sweet. It, me, today, it's today's show is sponsored by 7 Eleven and Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts. 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 And now it's a dollar nineteen. Ten cents. Ten cents. So oh, you're making your way to your area. I'm over here, yeah. All right. And then and then and then and, and then the other seven year old Joe over here, he's a dollar forty. Really? Yeah. Whew. So he he he's way well Marianne was a dollar was a dollar nine. Yeah. In town. Yeah. And and over here was a dollar forty. So it paid to go to the All right. All right. Yeah. 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 Give me a break already, huh? $1.10, $1.19, $1.40. How about a one ten two twenty? How about a one ten two twenty? Dollar and a half for a cup of coffee ain't bad. Two dollars and something a week. Oh my gosh. By fifty two weeks, where are you at there, guys? Glad to see you here, Frank. You're at it. You're at it. You, you can put that money into gear. You can put gear. You get that money into gear. <laughs> Social Security and all of that good stuff. Oh my God! I'm, I'm in the I'm below the poverty line. You, you, and you know what? You play it like you can. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, you weren't around last night. You you failed, yeah, and I I, I, I took it easy. You got one of those batteries? Twenty thirty two? No, I used to have millions of them. I know. I don't have them. There's a whole drawer full of them. Yep. What happened to them? No, I, they went away. I'm out of talk. That's a past life, that battery. Uh, that means I have to buy one. That's true. So, we're, Frank and I are working on cages. Cages, 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 and more cages. Uh, first off, I'd like to open up my cage shop to anybody that's starting out. If you need a hand with helping design your cage, build your cage, cut your cage, whether it be wire, whether it be... This cage happened to wash up on shore. We can have more about this later. I am not sure of this design at all, nor do I understand it, but hey, you know what? It's here in the Oyster King for a little analyzation. Anyway, make a long story short, we're caging it out over here, and we're constantly changing our design. I don't care who you are. If you're not changing, you are not progressing. You must change. You must embrace change, and you must adopt to change and whatever that may be, and it's very important for a farmer to do that. Donut stale. Oh, uh, your donut is stale. <laughs> now, Brad, I don't want you getting upset. I want that skin a little bit thickened up if you're over there. Please, please, please. I'm not saying a word. All right. So anyway, <clears throat> we've been ramping it up a little bit at the Happy Oyster Show, and uh, I found this, not found this, I knew this thing, we're working on this, we're trying to work on this. Anyway, I need something to crimp down some wire. And the full, I keep thinking to myself, and again, I'm pushing this out there right off the beginning of the show, because I'll be honest with you, I don't know what this thing ever was used for originally. Maybe Freddie does. What? Uh, <laughs> I heard that, what? So... This thing here, it was oak, it was, it broke right after I did the video last night. It, it, somebody was talking to me, I think, maybe, possibly. Uh, and it would smush down like this, right? Fred, you got it? Just yeah. not, the, not the new wood part, I'm talking about the old wood part. Mm -hmm. Okay? And I broke the hinge at first, and then I put the ball bolts in there, and then whack! This thing took this big, massive, and it's ancient. How ancient is this thing? This thing hung on one of my mother's displays in a rental house in a kitchen as a, you know, she had some other crap up there hanging, like authentic, uh... I wouldn't call it crap. Your mother had a nice sense of taste. <laughs> nice st <laughs> sense of style that. and taste. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, <laughs> Brady doesn't even know. It Weezy, I'll defend you. Wire. Ancient wire, yeah, ancient wire. John Boss is saying a nutcracker. It hung on the wall, it hung on the wall. And I even asked her, I, what is it? And 
and she didn't. I don't think she knew. I to this day, I'm talking when I was a little kid. I just think she, to hang around. I, I'm really surprised I came up with it to tell you. The, the reality is, she probably told you, and you were little, you forgot. I was really. Does, does, does it squeeze? Does it squeeze? When, it just squeezes together. That's all. But it's homemade. It's, it's homemade. It squeezes flat, totally flat. Pretty flat. No, I mean, not totally. No, no, within the hinge, within the hinge thickness, eighth of an inch. I guess so. It had a bellows on the end of it. Check, check, no. look, look at this. Look at this. It, yeah, it yeah. was. It, it, the screws came all the way through. They snipped them off with something. Profile. It's old. I mean, this thing is ancient, man, and it just let loose on me. It, it, was, it might have something to do with with laundry. That's what I think. Squeeze, you know, squeezing the water out of the laundry. Because way back when, you didn't yeah. have the radiators in the right. washing machine. So instead, you know, you can only do this for so much. And if it's something like a big sheet or a drapery or something, I think that's what it was. I think that's what it is, too. All right. We're coming to the... Well, now... You pull it through and, sque and squeeze it. You, you, you wouldn't, you know, it, it's handheld. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, it was a, it was a hand tool. I, I happened to screw it to the bench because I made things easier. <laughs> you ruined it. Yeah. Oh, now it's it was worth twenty five cents, and now it's worth a dime. Hey, yeah, there's, yeah. Your, there's your dime again. <laughs> What's that? Ten cents on the nickel. Go ahead. Ten cents on the nickel. So anyway, that's where we're at with that. So coming along together, trying to figure different things out, changing our plan, changing the the changing the plan. It's the same size, but it's just a different act, a different thing, and we cut down a lot of time on this. Let me show you the old design. You gotta come around this way, T. You wanna put it in the thing? It's getting too shaky. What's the people say? It's not bad, actually. It's not too bad? No one's complaining about the shake. Nobody's complaining about the shake. So I'm, I'm not, not shaking. I'm not shaking. I, mean, I have no. This is the first time we got a cameraman. Uh, can I see the phone for a second? You're not turning it this way. <laughs> Skipper T is behind the camera today. Oh, it's now she's mouthing words to me. It's tough for me to I love you. One, but I think I understood. Freddie, that one. Freddie, anyway. Freddie. <laughs> R rated show. So, anyway, we would cut it out and we would put these panels into here. Hang on, don't go. Stay right where you are, Tom. Oh, I had it. What did I do with it? What kind of panel? Oh, what I want is that, you know what? I follow on the Facebook page oh, yeah. a lot of the people from the old bike band show. Yeah. And there was a guy on there, his name was David LeBlue. Yeah. He, they took him away in the ambulance yesterday. He's something. I haven't got an update on him, so we hope he's okay. David LeBlue, I yeah. hope you're all right. From oh, the old okay. channel, if he still follows us on this channel. Send in love and prayers, Dave. Speedy yep. recovery. Yep, yep. Stay true. Uh, so we would cut it out with one piece, and then we made this I-beam thing, and it went into there, and we would hog ring it all the way along the side. So... Bad idea. Bad idea, but it was like, that's all we had, and then all of a sudden, we're rolling this thing, we're wires coming through here, because we got this brand new shear. I'll get to that in a second. And I got an epiphany. All of a sudden, it was like a light bulb went off in my head, Holy shit, Bart! You can build this thing out of one piece. And here it is. And we can eliminate a whole bunch of hob ringing, labor, and all of the above. And show them the evolution of the... Bandage? No, the, the, the one with the edge that'll rip your hand to piece and the one where... Correct, I will. Yeah. All right, so here is the brand new, I've got a whole bunch of these blanks that are bent out, that are bent out. This is it flat. Dimensions. Uh, three foot by five foot something. Yeah. <laughs> I can't, re I don't know. Because what we do is we just keep threading it through. It hits the stop once we get it measured. And I'll show you that in half a second. We okay. count the holes and then we set the stop. So, but it is hard to work with this stuff, especially, you know, once you get it down and we start to wire it out and whatnot, it's going to be okay. But, in the, you know, you're dealing with half inch square. So once you cut part of the square off, this is careful, right in here, take it close. Once you cut a square, then you have to cut this little nub off. Boop. Because then, and then it starts again for the next cut. So every time you cut, you're kind of losing 
a one, half an inch. You're losing one square, right? You're losing one square per cut. Alan C's right. Bike basket skills. <laughs> bike basket skills. Alan C, good there. morning. Hey. Mm -hmm. Happy to he see you here, Alan C. We can make anything you want now out of wire because we're learning about wire through and through. All right. So, yeah, here's the evolution. So, anyway, there it is in a blank. Here it is bent out. So, it's all bent out bent up, ready to go, ready to go for assembly for hog ring. That's a whole other show. Maybe we'll get on to that next week. But this week, it was just cutting and bending. So we got that. Now, the problem with this in the beginning, this is not one of them. This is the newer one. This is the older one, like Freddie said. Show me evolution. There is a situation that you're dealing with when you're driving these things through the shears that you can't quite get that little nubule that we were just talking about off. So here we go. Look at this is the first one we did that was a flat one piece to make sure it's gonna work. But this is a cut edge. This is a factory edge. You're gonna have to probably get in there kind of tight, T. Yep. Uh, see how this is a factory edge. It's like it's got glue it's all over. Not it's glue, sealed. but it's it's vinyl. This is vinyl, 16 gauge vinyl coated Riverdale wire coming from Riverdale Mills. Mills, Massachusetts. Southbridge, Mass. What is it? Selfridge Mass, and they're the largest supplier of aquaculture wire in the United States. <clears throat> Lobsters, predators, blah, blah, blah. Here is, this is a cut edge on this side. Sharp. This isn't super sharp. Okay, back up. So remember now, you're going to be handling hundreds of these suckers a day. And you're going to have gloves on, and it's all about coordination. <coughs> and I was like, Freddie, we're just going to have to train you guys to, 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 to grab it here. And not necessarily on this side, because it's sharp. Well, we're both thinking about it, and then, then we're dealing with this. Cutting through here is tough, because it leaves this. Look at the nub here. Check this out. Look at how, how oh my goodness, that's dangerous right there. So we came to the revelation that, hey, what if we sacrifice a a little bit of wire, meaning advance it over a little bit more, and then bend that edge over, that cut edge, bend it over, so that you don't have that anymore. Oh, shit. That's the second time in two days that I spilled my coffee. And now time I put it on the floor. Oh, that's good. Phew. I'm getting so excited. So now, here comes the next stage, which was like not very long apart. We bend that over. We just make that, that, that lip a little bit longer and we bend it over. I have a little bit better demonstration over here, I think, on the lip of how we're bending it over. So now we bend over the lip. This is all evolution. Here's the lip. This is the top that's going to go on like that. Boom, boom, boom. But you can see the bend over. And that makes it nice and smooth here on the bottom. Nothing derogatory over there. No fighting, Freddy. They, co they come up quick. I don't see them responding. I, I know. It comes up so damn quick. You can't, you can't, oh. if the cameraman cannot be responding to the stuff. But you get the idea. So that's going on to that, and that goes to that, and that goes to that, and that to that, to that, to that. <sighs> Again, anybody that would like to try something or they got an idea, I'm open. I'm here. I'm for you. All Long Island, all East Coast. Hey, guys, come on over. I'm open. Uh, just get yeah, I just ask that you don't take advantage. I mean, let's talk about it. Let's do it. It's not going to be your shop, but I'd be more than happy to help you design and build and do, and we'll do it. And there's no charge to use my shop the first time around. None. Jimmy Frozen's on his way. <laughs> well, uh, somebody just said, so when are you going to actually put some product in the war so we can understand what it costs you and how much to make? Is the thing going to stop? Is the thing when, going to stop? when is this thing going to stop just being a talking on Saturday to working? And I text them, come help us build a thousand cages. <laughs> <laughs> I've been getting a lot. I've been getting, I've been, no, get some... Then you get some haters, Fred. That's why I'm yeah. saying you got to tune no. in that skin, brother. No, because of the fact that you know what? It doesn't okay. matter. The whole, the okay. whole, the Peter whole, thing. the whole, the, the, they have no idea. Artie, the kids are good. Thank you. What's that? 
Artie Mike is asking how the kids are, the family. Everybody's good. Everybody's good. And uh, he asked about and Howie we haven't seen. Howie, I haven't, Howie's among the missing. I, and we're keeping an eye out all the time. Yeah, I haven't seen him over at uh, Panera or Riverhead or anywhere. So, back at you. Where was I? Blanks. Body blanks 36 here. degrees I frozen. Blanks over here. We're good to go. We just cut our time by putting it into one, one piece so much quicker. By cutting it in one piece. Now it's now you're only dealing with two pieces, the top and the body. Maybe some legs coming up here on, on some of them, not all of them, because we're only we're going to two tier too. We'll talk about densities in a different time. Uh, there's a lot to it, but there's a lot of scalability, and there will be stuff in the drink this year. Roll the wire, boom, there it is. Like four hundred dollars to your door per roll. Boom, boom. 15, per roll. 15 boxes. Getting 15 boxes per roll is what we're gonna, maybe a little less. Depends upon if you're putting feet on them or not. Tony Cho is just starting to put two and two and two together. What's that? 15 think. boxes per roll. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so what do you think? And we need a thousand. Yeah, but if, it go, but, if you, but if you go buy them from somebody who makes them, they're $250 a piece. <laughs> Is that, what, is that what the, the, yeah. the retail would be, is $250? Yeah, they're costing us $25. Okay. So. That's what I was wondering, too, what the cost it, per it, piece was. Okay, yeah. And again, and now Freddie brings up a really, 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 but again, really, shipping. really good thing. Is the fact that oyster farming is costly to start up. Initial investment. The initial investment is, and this is why you start small and you throw your profits back into the business, but you gotta start with something that you're gonna be able to make some money. This is why they say, don't quit your day job to become an oyster farmer. Right. I don't have a day job. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> but and you wonder why I'm stressed. <laughs> yeah. No, it's okay, guys, relax. It's all right. Yeah. It's all right, it's all right. It's all right. Okay, Howie. It's okay. Man, Dell, that is. Wow. Yeah, it's okay. Hey, you gotta open up the five hundred thousand dollar case in order to get to the million dollar one. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Scissors. <laughs> Sizz. Oh goodness. All right. So anyway, do where we, was I? Do we need investors? No, we don't need any investors. Do we need any investors? No, we're not to that stage yet. Why? Do you want to invest? Yeah. When will the de deployment be? When? It, what's the the timeline right now? Good question. We're gonna have to sit in the water. We're going to put stuff in order for sure, but where are we and what size and what... Just so the audience knows, kind of a timeline, what we're working on, just, uh, you know... It, by, I would say, well, you're looking for water temperature, and depending upon where, we, we, uh, it could be quickly, it could be... we got to get seed, 20 millimeter seed. I'm going to say somewhere around June for sure, if not earlier than that. I'm hoping to have some seed in some other places other than our site, but also our site, I'd like to sample some seed out there too. We'll be on the water, I would say, March. And when, once, the water, once the water starts warming up, but actual stuff in the drink is probably gonna be somewhere around May, maybe earlier, if you're lucky. Again, see, what? What are you looking at, you like that look? Nothing. Oh, you said June, now you're saying again, May. Control, again, you got to be able to change and adopt the change and things might change and, hey, you never know. Um, the boat's not in the water. you got to wait for the water to get a little warm, weather to get a little warmer. Today, what is the temperature today? It's nice, it's nice, it's nice, it's nice it's well, let me see. It's going to get crazy. It's 38 degrees out there, but it's going to get nasty. we got some really bad, 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 bad weather. So anyway, what else do I got? What other kind of news today I got for you? I got uh, other oyster news. I went to my first Lyoga meeting. Uh, Lyoga meeting. It was on your cage. Where is, what's that? It was over there on your cage, underneath your notes maybe. It was on your cage with the oysters in it. I had the thing. What did I do? We lost the logo. <laughs> no, Calvin, my check comes no matter what. It does? Yeah. No. He said I had... I have a no-show job. <laughs> you you do have a no-show job. You don't have to show anywhere. It comes. Your check comes. And so once, and the question pay, is... I pay my gas bill to Valero with my, un, uh, with my uh, social security, security check. No. <laughs> once, once the, I'm looking at these comments here. Once the oysters, you put the seed in the water... How what is the time frame to harvest? What is the time frame to harvest? Yeah. That is the question. 
Depends how big they are when you put them in the water. How big? How well? This, that? What is the time? What are we hoping for? Somewhere or range? Is there a range? Eighteen months. Yeah, to the size of a quarter, probably twelve months. Are you alright over there? No. Hello. Good morning. Now it's on me. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Woohoo! Hi guys. Hit that. There you go. How's that? This is one. Yeah. Leave All some, right, leave so some trust. Here. So yeah, we're looking at twelve to eighteen months from birth to to uh, to eating. Long Island Oysters, there they are, Lyoga, Long Island Oyster Growers Association. Without our oysters, it would be just an island. Yeah, right. So, I went to the first Lyoga meeting. You heard about that, right? What's that? You heard about that thing right there, right? The logo? No, oh. but... Go ahead. So, let me back again. Let me, t let me, let me, let me, let me say it again one more time. I... Uh, I went to my first Lyoga meeting. Where was it? You went to. More on that later. <laughs> it was very enlightening, to say the least. So, hats off, thumbs up for Lyoga. I'm with you guys. What else department to put this, this this week? Worked at Paul's for a couple of days. It was a little chilly, this, that, and the other. Oh, and he's now, and what he, is that new with him, what he's doing, his Instagram picture yesterday? Who, what? Paul. Paul's Instagram The kelp. The kelp. kelp. Oh, kelp, yesterday. It is a science project with Mike Dahl from Stony Brook University. Uh, if you go back a couple of weeks ago, we had a live broadcast with that. He did check out the kelp. We did see Mike Donald uh, at that Lyoga meeting as well. Uh, you met him. The kelp is growing phenomenally. I mean, just they're very, he is excited about the kelp. I will try to pump out an Instagram picture of the kelp lines this week, uh, if I can, if I can get over there. Uh, what else I got? Up to date and on stuff, other stuff. Let's just take a quickie out there. How long have we been on for? Just out of curiosity. 20, 23, 22, 13. Yeah, I'm going to say the card. You're not. Your cage spins too fast. Oh, she thinks our cage is spinning too fast? Mm -hmm. I did a picture of that today. You know, there, it, looks a little, it might look a little fast on the video because of the way the set, I think. I don't know. You're right. It might be too fast. It might be. I'm not sure. We're going to put a, probably a, a dimmer on that. But thank you for, thank you for noticing that. Yeah. Let's go outside for a half a second. I know it's our other projects that we've been working on. It's pretty much ready for testing. Anyway, this is a skid, skid scoop. Cages that are a trawl line like this. These are what the cages look like. And they're going to be tough. without getting out of the boat. Yeah, it's, it's, going to, it's going to drag up and it's, it's balancing. On here. This thing is really coming along really, really nicely. I'm really happy it's time for testing. The only problem is that and, uh, it's not, uh, there's no more lines out there to test it. So this thing might have to get shelved. I don't know. I'm hoping maybe, possibly, who. Uh, Maybe. I don't know. We're going to have to see what we can do over at Paul with Great Gun Shellfish. This is Paul from Great Gun Shellfish's uh, uh, project here. Where, where I'm working with, with him on that one. Don't necessarily oh, And you don't have to uh, be slaves to the tide. So we just slide him right up. He's not got this. And I got an outflow two table going on there too. An outflow slide. Just creeped in. I'm ready to test. I want to test it. So. That's where I'm at with that one. That one's coming along really nicely. I'm really happy with this. I think this is going to work. I think it's going to work great. For the matter of fact. Anything but get in the water. Later. Rubber pants. Hey. All right. So that brings me to the last and the final thing on here that we're going to show you is our brand new piece of machinery that we got. It's ancient. We showed you out on our picture on our, on our uh, Instagram. It is a Plexto industrial shear. It's for sheet metal, wire, it's probably from the 1930s, I don't know. There's a plate on it that we kind of read, I, I don't remember, I should have wrote it down. And how did we get it? <laughs> we get Lord it. said we need a shear. Here's how it works, it goes up and down like this, you see you have a, 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 a,
got it. It was kind of a little crusty and rusty, but we kind of gave it a little lube, a little wash, a little rehab, a little oil, and a little tightening, and a little of this, and a little, a little love. We gave that baby a little love, and she is working like a champ. She just rolls it right through, and I'm going to show you how well it demonstrated in a half a second, Freddie and I will. And uh, I just think the thing is sweet. So when I came back last week, we were talking about cage making and the, the, the field trip that I went on. And again, special thanks, special shout out to Myron over at Catch and Supply, uh, a fisherman's candy store. Catch and Supply Company in New Bedford. New Bedford in 111 Myrtle Street, New Bedford, Massachusetts. Check them out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Catch them supply. That's K-E-T-C-H-A-M-S-U-P-P-L-Y. Catch them supply. Check them out. Myron. When I went to Myron's over there for a field trip, it was very, very enlightening to me because of the fact that all I had to do was see a couple of things and I started, and my mind started to go and I came back and I said, Fred, the old way is just not the way to go. This is the old way and we went down the is, line is any, with each one. Is there any, is there any connection between the Ketchum Supply and... Matt Ketchum? The Sonic Gold? No. Okay. Okay, so this would go along, and you would go along to each one. And then after you cut it one way, you were going to have to come back, because remember, you had the little nub. So sharp had, nubbies. What's that? The sharp, brutal, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, you can imagine that thing tear you up, boy. Yeah. So, so you got you got to get in there nice and tight and cut the little nubs off. But with our new procedure of folding it over, we don't have to worry about that. But we found we, you use these to cut out the notches and whatnot. These are very handy, necessary evil, but not for mass cutting. The time, it's just a time thing, too. And I said to Fred, I said, Fred, I said, I learned a lot over there, and I probably should have paid more attention, but my mouth was hanging open because I was like, wow, this dude's letting me in here, and I should, and I'm taking it all in. Was it a mistake for him to let me into his shop? I don't think so. I think we've just developed a really nice relationship together is what I think because we all got to work together. Um, so anyway, to make a longer story longer, I said, came back and Fred and I were having a meeting and whatnot, and I said, Fred, I said, we got to get ourselves a shear. We need an industrial shear to shear this stuff. And it's got to be three foot long, three foot, have a three foot wide blade and blah, 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 blah. And, and Freddie says, yeah, okay. Freddie says, hold on. <laughs> he got out of his phone, boom, boom, boom. Hey, yeah, rah, hey, it's Freddie from the tractor club. What do you got over there? Rah, rah. And he started bickering him up. He sounded like two peas in a pod, to tell you the truth. And uh, next thing you know, day or two later, <laughs> one phone call is all it took. Day or two later, Freddie says, Freddie's oh, got well, resources. I phone call because I was out in the bed. He says, I'm in patch on, I'm coming home with a shear, it's gonna work, right? <laughs> I'm like, okay. Yeah. Back that baby right in, loaded it down, put a little love into it, and here she is. Ta da! For very, very short money for what it is. Yeah. Okay? Compared to what they really go for. Just to give you a, just a quick, I'm not gonna tell you how much I paid for it because it was cheap. Inexpensive. I, I paid for that vendor over there that you guys can use it and you guys can go and get it anytime and come over and try it out and see if you like it. And it came from Bay Oyster down in Virginia. Shipping was 550 bucks. That tool. That vendor. Okay? That's just that vendor. So I don't have a lot of dough in this, but I got a lot of that's probably my most expensive tool, that vendor right there. Other than that, this was not as much. I'll be honest. A little bit of labor, a little ingenuity, a little bit of home belt, and whatnot. Now, watch, this is cool, man. This is really cool. I had some legs that I had. I think we maybe templates for legs here or there. Freddie, you gonna come down here and help me out on this? Where do you want me here? What? Where do you want me? Uh, over the here. Action, the action is going to happen right here. Yeah, probably. So maybe probably right here, look at this way. way. Looking like this, whatever. Or we, we, do it, we can do it twice, too. Uh, what can I do, man? There's 
nip the hole. What's that? Just nip the hole. I was going to say, cut, a, cut, a, cut another one. Oh, yeah, we'll just Here. nip the water. Oh, okay. Sorry for the dizziness, guys and gals. You're getting dizzy? Tell no, I the phone tilt. Sorry. Okay. So, you know, when we're just trying something out, we're just kind of give it a little quickie shot. To index. Uh, to index where we're at. So I wanted it at that notch right there. And we're going to put it back. Again, we're folding the ends in so we don't have to worry anymore about the roughness because before we would have to cut it through and then cut it twice obviously depending upon where it would go you see how she slides right through and she would hit whatever we needed to but in this indication in this one here we're, we're doing something different we're coming uh we're, it's a different size so we're just doing a one single one especially for you guys yeah going on your side? yeah well i don't know Let's no i'm on this part. one here okay there you go that's it yeah so we hold that down like this and you got your pen hang on now Look at that. You with me? You got my foot on the thing. This comes down to here, and you just step on it. Go. And slice the rhythm. Perfect. <laughs> I mean, it just whack. You can get another one out of it, too. So, uh oh, want to get another one? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Then if she gets back here, she can, she's not showing the shear good. This is the end of the roll. Yeah. And we're gonna, there's something interesting going on here, which I'll show you in a minute. That's the one you want? Okay. Fingers clear. Ready? Go. Go. Look at the, there's no coating at all on here. What are you doing? It's, Where? You see, it started, Towards the end? No, the whole thing, it started to rust. Oh, oh yeah, what, no, 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 the oh, reason is, no, 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 it didn't, you know why it rusted? Because it was on that rusty ass pipe that we had it rolling oh, on. Oh, it could have picked up the rust. Oh. It picked, yeah, because I had lube on the oh, pipe and then it, the lube was starting to rust, it got jizz, lube okay. jizz, little rust jizz on there. All right. Good this, observation. This piece is still good for a leg problem. So good for something, anyway. So you get using pretty much a good sheet for all, a lot of the we sheet. We really utilize a whole lot of these. Yeah, yeah. There's not much waste. Not much waste at all. You know, you get these little squares that come out of here when we're cutting in here, like that. But what we'll do is we'll cut this in, and then we, we'll put a little piece of rubber on it so that it'll make a latch. Uh, let me show you a quickie on that. Again, we're trying to utilize everything we can because it is expensive. We are wasting only an inch or so. I don't have it. 16 gauge. Oh, underneath here, maybe? Yeah, here it is. Bend those up so that way we can make a, a lot of a catch for the uh, for the top when the top goes on. Maybe that's okay. All right. So there you have it. Lyoga cages are wire. Our wire's going on. We're gonna get ready to cut some more and blah 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 blah. We got nothing else. Any questions? Any questions? Comments? Uh, today we are doing our thing. Coming to you live from West Hampton Beach. Uh, if you like us, do us a favor, help us out, uh, share it, send it off to one of your buddies somewhere. Hey, this guy's a crap pot, this guy's a kook, I like this guy, I hate this guy, this guy's a I don't care, just send it, share it. Uh, trying to do the right thing, trying to help out, trying to have fun. Tony Cho, you got anything? I can well, Wolfie, anything. Wolfie's asking how much do these pots sell for? $250 a piece. Yeah, for a two-tiered system, is in that neighborhood 200 bucks, 250 bucks. About $100 a tray. Correct, Alan. See, 250 U U.S. dollars. That's for, you know, two a stack two of two, boxes. I believe. Two boxes. I have not. And that's what they're calling gear. Oh, yeah. In the industry. And gear is a big expense. And gear is a big maintenance thing. You try to keep your, working on your gear as little as possible. You try to make your gear as economical, as simple. Sometimes when it gets... Complicated is when things get a little cuckoo. Well, if you Sorry. get to a million, you're going to be building these things every week. Well, you're going to be building them, right, yeah, for a long time. Yeah. 
for a long time. And you're, you know what? And then you're all, once you once you start a rotation, as you get going, you're going to constantly you're going to have some sort of a at least a schedule in your in your cage shop if you're going to be scaled up. Right. Right. And again, we got some plans for scaling up. We are not. I know it's been slow. I know it's you know. Yeah, so we're things. not going at it like homeowner brawlers. No. No, we are not. But you know what? That's what we got to promote. We got to help the homeowner growers. We got to help the homeowner growers. We got to we got to treat everybody that wants to make oystering and aquaculture a, a, a reality, which it certainly can be. Uh, its oysters are cool. We've got to promote that. Uh, there's a lot of opportunity out there for oysters, aquaculture, and good. For the environment, this is not a bad thing. So, uh, and they taste pretty damn good. Let me tell you. The more small farmers we get, the bigger everybody is going to be. That is the way it is. So the more the merrier. What are you promoting your old lady up there? What are you doing? What? Artie, Mike just asked me how the market is for the, for uh, real estate. Uh -huh. <laughs> Out here, Artie Mike, it's very, very quiet right now. And the listings I have, my the clientele for my listings are somewhere warm. They're busy. Dun, 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 dun. Not not thinking about the Hamptons right now, unfortunately. But I'm doing. I'm keeping up my advertising and my keeping my products fresh on the internet. No, those are all okay, I got nothing else. You got Skipper T signing uh, off. Long weekend, Martin Luther King Day. Happy Martin Luther King Day, everybody. Be Tomorrow, safe. I got a big game. You got a big game. The New England Patriots got a big game. Freddie, you got anything? And, and we, well, Fre well, he's waiting for the he's waiting for the frigid ice. He's got his he's got his boat ready to go. Yeah, I'm, wait, I'm waiting for it to get cold so I can get all the ice ice boat. boat. Freddie's yeah, going ice boat. boat. Oh, which definitely. I'll I'll be happy to do that. I'll bundle up. I'll do that. I'll, bundle, all right. I'll sit in front. Of, I'll sit between Freddie's legs. I'll be his captain. And I'll take the front ride, and he can steer from the back. You, 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 oh boy! You think, you think that thing? You think that Sunfish Club Med was overloaded? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Enough of that. <laughs> Again, she's valid. Love you all. Thank you guys all for tuning. Have a great week, you guys. Love you. Stay warm. Stay well. We would be. If this is not half as much fun. Please put in the comments below where you're coming from. Uh, I love that. I love it when I see all of you guys from all over the place. Love you guys. Thank you so much. That's all. Bake. Hit it. Stop. Go. And I'm looking for the stop button. I know. It's difficult sometimes. Have a great week, guys.